Ignition sequence starts. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody, this is the Digital Asset Investor, and let's start here. I Trust Capital, who happens to be one of my, sp my sponsors, is loving what's going on with XRP. XRP Army, how are we feeling? I think it's now XRP Family. The The fight is over. I think Brad Garlinghouse might be telegraphing that in, in his interviews now. Uh, XRP Family, we're, we're done fighting. How, how high is XRP going this cycle? It's unbelievable what's been going on the last. I, I have been like doing things and traveling and all this. And so uh, you, normally I would be just sitting in front of my computer at home and I would be just salivating like you all are and enjoying this, which I've been doing, but I've been doing it while on the move. Um, going, I'm going to some of these XRP Unleashed, the documentary showings. But let's look at what's been going on, folks. And by the way, before I leave that, since they are one of my sponsors, iTrust Capital is you can get put crypto in an IRA. I have I have a couple IRAs with them. It's and it also gives me access to institutional grade custody. And so my iTrust Capital account is really one of the smartest things I ever did in crypto. You can also just so you know, you if you've got like um for, you can talk to them about um, if you've got like a 401k that you wanted to roll over, you can you can roll those things into uh, an iTrust Capital IRA when you're retiring or when you're leaving a job or something like that. And that is massive. I mean, the ta this is tax-free or tax-deferred depending on what kind of IRA you have. Go check it out. It's itrustcapital.com. All right. Check this out. Here's, here's what's been going on. And I, again, what I find most interesting is that um, the um, the market cap has kind of been sitting still. Bitcoin's kind of been sitting still, while XRP has been running, while other things are not necessarily running, which makes it even more interesting. Uh, let me see if I can pull up um, what well, we've we've gone as high as about one twenty three. It's unbelievable. I feel pretty confident that we're going to see ourselves a new all-time high this cycle. Here's what eGreg Crypto says about XRP confirmed kaboom. Market cap $1.83 trillion. I encourage you, let me see when he posted this, make sure it's not too far back. November 16th, okay, this morning. Encourage you to check this post from November 2023. Uh, XRP market cap's closing above the 51.35 billion has reached uh, 60. It is also breaking through a multi-year ascending trend line that goes back to 2017. This super bullish XRP uh, monthly candle. Uh, let's see what it says down here. Let's calculate the market cap and what the XRP m might be with a circulating supply of 57 billion XRP based on the FIB levels, potential price targets. So at this, so the first one with a 283.42 billion market cap, 496, 577, $10.13, 959, 1.83 trillion, 3211. Exciting times, folks. Exciting times. And here's the Brad Garlinghouse interview you all must see. And I'll stop. I'm going to stop when I have a comment on some of this. The blockchain payments company Ripple, which uses XRP to enable transactions, jumped dramatically since election night. And it saw big surges earlier this week on speculation that its CEO held a meeting with the president-elect following his victory and speculation that anti-crypto SEC chief Gary Gensler might soon announce his resignation, which we just talked about with former SEC uh, director Norm Champ. Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse is here in a Fox Business exclusive in studio to discuss all of this. Okay, a 70% gain since election day. Let me guess, you are a Donald Trump fan, at least, uh, of a presidency. Uh, he's going to admit it. As he oversees a, a crypto world that he's very open-armed to. 
For sure. Uh, like, what a difference 10 days makes. Uh, we, for years in the United States, have had an attack on the crypto industry. It's been war. And we finally, I think, have uh, a, you know, a crypto president. The crypto industry has embraced Trump. Trump has embraced the crypto industry. He really has. He really he, has. I, I think it's very genuine. And I think he sees the opportunity. He sees innovation. He sees entrepreneurship. And look, the, the I'm very excited about what the future holds. I'll point out, if you were saying that XRP is up 70 plus percent, since election day, the best performing crypto assets are all U.S. companies or U.S. technologies. This shouldn't be a surprise. The, the, the United States SEC has been manipulating and putting pressure on these U.S. companies, U.S. technologies, and now that pressure comes off and they explode upwards. So we shouldn't be surprised by that. Hmm. So that is since when that it's all U.S.? That really, really since election day. day. Okay, since, since so. election day, then that it, that really makes sense. It does, and if you, you can even put a number on this, like what, what has Gary Gensler's war on crypto? You can put a, an amount on it. We went from two point two trillion mm -hmm. to basically three trillion. So th this was an eight hundred billion dollar unlock, just because we now are going to have rational actors who act lawfully. You know, as as you know well, the states have now even participated in suing the SEC and saying you are not acting lawfully and enforcing the laws. I got to ask you, the price of XRP earlier this week spasmed. It jumped about 10 percent after you liked a tweet earlier that suggested you may have met with President-elect Donald Trump. Any truth to those rumors? Uh -oh. I mean, I think like many of your guests today, I'm not going to comment on too many specifics here. Suffice it to okay, say. Okay, that's a yes. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. But I, I respect like, that. But to me, it's a yes. Like it, we have been active throughout this election cycle in being very pro-crypto, pro-innovation. And how do we make sure that this Congress and you know the, the president, obviously, is it's a totally new day. And I, I could not be happier about like a, a Congress that I think is as Norm said earlier, your guest, was that, we got to get away from regulation through enforcement. Was He says a totally new day. Is that a takeoff on what Tom Emmer said a long time ago? A new day is coming. Is that what, they, what he was referencing? And by the way, I want to point out, he's wearing his XRP shirt. This is not normal for Brad Garlinghouse. Normally, he's just got a suit on. He also was at an event and he wore an F the SEC shirt. So Brad is obviously feeling a little froggy these days and i like it that makes no sense what about this well just to make you understand what that means froggy when i was a kid i was watching two guys and they were about to get in a fight and i had never heard this phrase before one of them says if you feel froggy jump and that was his way of saying bring it on if you you throw a punch and then you're gonna get it <laughs> So I feel like Brad uh, is is feeling froggy. Uh, uh, t wants to <laughs> get Gary, let Gary Gensler know we won, you lost. Yesterday, this lawsuit filed by 18 attorneys generals, I believe all from Republican states, suing the SEC, saying that they are allegedly overreaching when it comes to crypto regulation. Did you you know that that was coming at all? We did not, and. I Okay, I accidentally had something come up there. Um, I'm having to write it down. Every once in a while I get these, these texts from friends and they come across my computer. I need to turn the notifications off. I have to go and delete them. Um, okay, and put a star there. Now, I'm gonna play that part again. Attorney Generals, welcome to the party. You know, yes. look, we have been fighting, Ripple's been fighting this fight since the very beginning. We've spent literally over $150 million fighting the SEC, an unlawful war. And so I'm thrilled they're joined. I wish they would have joined earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, even in their case, that the, the, what they filed cites the Ripple case over and over. And so they see what has happened. They see how Gensler has overreached. And I only wish there was a way to hold the SEC, hold Gensler, hold some of these people accountable. There and is, we Brad, should say that. Don't worry, Brad, there is. There's a documentary. It's called Rigged from the Start. The SEC's War on Crypto. I can't remember if that's the, um, exposing the SEC's War on Crypto. I think that's what they call it. And it's coming, and there's been a letter written to Congress. And I, I, somebody made me aware, actually Jimmy Valley made me aware yesterday that I, my tweets from when we were uncovering ETHgate, 13 of them were referenced in the letter written to Congress. DAI goes to Congress? Wouldn't that be funny? 
I can promise you this. If DAI ever does go to Congress, Congress, they'll remember I was there. Earlier this week, Robinhood relisted XRP on its platform, driven by what they believe might be this new, more welcoming regulatory environment. For sure. I mean, this goes back to like the, the U.S. has finally unlocking this hostility. And I, I do think things like uh, Robinhood is saying, you know, I'm surprised they didn't do it sooner, but I'm glad they did it now. And, you know, I expect Robin Hood, by the way, up 37 percent this month alone. Nice move for Robin Hood. And, and he flat as 10 of the CEO sat here and said that crypto has been a huge driver for their bottom line. I mean, he said yeah. that it actually is an order of magnitude, a 10 X decrease in cost for it in order for him to trade. Brad, thanks for stopping. Folks, it is on like Donkey Kong. If you hadn't figured it out, I wanted to bring one more thing to your attention here. Look at this. In seven days, XRP is up 110%. That is unbelievable. Seven days. In fact, what I just received, the text I received that I had to delete out of this video that came across my computer screen was a text from a friend about XRP. He says, I mean, he what said, is it about XRP? What he, what he said was, off to the races. <laughs> my, it's funny. Your phone just rings off the hook the second that these markets take off. They all roll their eyes at me for, like, I'll, it's funny. Every, every Thanksgiving or Christmas, I go to these things, and your family looks at you like you're crazy. And then all of a sudden, when the markets boom, you're not crazy anymore. Now you're a genius. But you have to go through all those ups and downs, and I always knew what was coming, and so I've always been confident about what's coming. You've never seen me go negative on XRP. Like the way you characterize it, for the XRP family. Do they have like a vendetta against you or something? Because it seems like it's always XRP with Gary Gensler, the chairman of the SEC. Um, it's interesting. I mean, what is it about XRP? Are you that much of a threat to traditional finance, maybe? Ah. You know, there's a lot of Welcome conspiracy the theories. Uh, there's you know, a lot of people will throw out various ideas. I, I don't know. Uh, it certainly is frustrating. Uh, it has been you know, frustrating to, to grow the business in the, in the headwinds of a U.S. government agency that I think is acting outside the law in kind of a rogue fashion. But again, in the long run, I think we'll look back on this chapter five years from now and we'll, we'll hopefully chuckle and think, okay, that was annoying, that was frustrating. But we're very committed to you know, not just this market, but to the entire XRP family. And what we're going to keep fighting. There's that word again. We're a family now. I'm happy to be in a family. Gary Gensler attempting to justify his four-long political crusade to destroy crypto by cl claiming he just continued what Jay Clayton started. It's like burning down the house and saying, Jay lit the match, I just added the gasoline. This is part of Gary's little write-up. And something's happened with Ryan Selkis, I'm not sure what, but Ryan Selkis has begin, begun to go after Brad Garlinghouse. Not sure what's going on here, but it's interesting. Whoever set up a meeting for Trump with Brad Garlinghouse should be nowhere near crypto policy or the administration completely disqualifying for that to be an early meeting. The Ripple team was bragging about it to pump XRP. Ripple is setting Trump up for scandal rats. Well, I think Wheezy's over the target about rats. He says, like the Ethgate scandal that you were a part of where VCs, founders, attorneys, and politicians helped to set up meetings behind closed doors with the SEC so that they could close the door on everything but Bitcoin and Ethereum to make yourself a monopoly, then bring lawsuits to everyone else. That type of scandal? That, my friends, is what you call over the target. And then here he is again. Brad Garlinghouse is shilling XRP and CBDC. I've never seen Ron Selkis tweet anything like this about Joe Lubin. Joe Lubin actually did a video on YouTube with uh, Dan Moorhead where they, the whole video was about the Ethereum price and the whole thing. Never saw Ryan Selkis around to talk about them trying to pump their bags or anything. Wonder why. I am shilling American dyna dynamism and smart appointments that will solidify Trump's legacy. We are not the same. <laughs> um, I, there's, I've got a lot more, but I'm going to do it in DAIXRP.com. There, is, there was a major person referring to XRP Unleashed. Words mean things. I'm going to show you that. But I'm going to show, we're going to talk a little more about the price. I'm also, for the first time ever, I'm going to show you, my wife went to an XRP event. I'm going to show you what she said. We'll do that in um, 
in DAIXRP.com. I'm the digital asset investor. I'm not an investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe, hit the like button, tell your friends and family. Here we go.